On the same day Donald Trump received his first top secret intelligence briefing, signs his campaign may be elevating its bombastic style. I am who I am. It's me. You have to be you. If you start pivoting, you're not being honest with people. Stephen Bannon is the campaign's new chief executive. He's described as a bare-knuckled fighter who shares Trump's nationalistic views. Bannon's far-right website, Breitbart News, has cheered Trump from the start. It attacks Clinton on everything from her foundation to her health and goes after establishment Republicans with the same venom. What Breitbart has become is sort of the uh, outside the establishment conservative group uh, beating down the walls. That's exactly who Donald Trump was when he decided to run for president. Many see his appointment as a moment of crisis, a sign the teleprompter reading calmed down role Trump has been trying lately isn't working. The Trump campaign insists this isn't desperation. It's a busy home stretch to election day and we just need to sort of beef up the senior level roles. Consider the cast of characters now involved in the campaign. In addition to Bannon, Paul Manafort keeps his title of campaign chair, despite the fact he's been associated with murky dealings involving the former president of Ukraine. And there are reports Roger Ailes is helping out with debate prep, even though he was recently forced out of Fox News over allegations of sexual harassment. There is no new Donald Trump. This is it. For the first time in the general election, the Trump campaign will be releasing television ads shortly. Given who's now in charge, expect the attacks to be sharp and the tone to be nasty. Lindsay Duncombe, CBC News, Washington.